les sens Dans tous les sens interdits J'entends tout ce qu'il faut Les vrais, les faux et les non-dits Je suis une fille et je plante Welcome to another episode of Catching Up with Keke. It is a very cold Tuesday morning. I believe the time is 7.19. And I woke up at God knows what time to go and wash the car outside. I've been outside for hours and it's freezing. I'm frozen. I need a cup of coffee. Um, because today's baby case first day at school. And I thought to myself... Oh my word, like do I want to drop my son off at school in a dirty car because I haven't washed my car since I got it um, and I didn't do it properly either unfortunately because my water was too soapy and now there's foam all over the car. I tried to dry it with a white cloth that's still foamy and I'm running out of time. In fact, I'm running late. So I thought to myself, we'll drive around in a soapy car until I get to fix that mistake of mine. So yeah that didn't go out, that didn't turn out so well but i'll rectify it um just not now i have to have a cup of coffee and get ready as fast as possible because we ought to be at the school in like an hour or so so yeah the sooner i get ready the better he's still sleeping and um I'm not gonna wake him up for now. I'm gonna get ready myself, and then once I'm ready, I'll wake him up for breakfast and we will get going. So, catch up with you guys later. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. The best thing you can do for me is to share, 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 share the video, okay? Please share the video. Um, yeah. Please share so that we can grow as a family. I love you guys. Enjoy. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Are you clapping your hands? Put your hands together now and clap. I don't believe a lie. down the valley pack a piece of are you excited first day at school let's get out of here oh my baby i'm walking away from his nursery and 
my heart just broke like where has time gone first day of what oh my word so i have dropped my darling heart um off at school today is just the settlement so he's not officially at school yet he's gonna be at school in in after tomorrow um for today and tomorrow it's settlement so settlement is just to see how he settles into the new environment my baby did so well it's hurting my little heart like it's hurting why is it hurting me it's hurting. he did so well at some point he wasn't even looking at me anymore and then they're like um so normally we advise that parents leave so that he can settle in and so that's how that's how i'm sitting in the car because it's only an hour so i'm just like if i go anywhere like i need to go do some okay i bought some stuff last night but those weren't like everything i need so i need to go buy some groceries so if i leave now to go and do the groceries by the time i'm still in wherever i'm gonna buy the groceries then um it'll be time to pick him up so i'm gonna be that mom who just sits in the car and waits for my son for to just today tomorrow i'll leave because today i'm left with 30 minutes and then i have to fetch him because it's only an hour i was in there for about roughly 20 minutes or so so yeah i'm just gonna wait for for the next 30 i'm gonna wait in the car use this time to meditate think about the rest of my day i've got some stuff i need to plan um probably edit well there's only so much i can do in 30 minutes why am i <laughs> trying to accomplish the world or i can just use the time to sit and listen to music and do nothing like why do i feel the pressure to want to be productive do you know what i mean i've had a rough couple of days mentally so i need i need this time to just relax and do absolutely bugger all so yeah let me Oh, wow. it's so cold hey let me turn the heater you are uh, so the sun because wow my dude <laughs> Bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within her Call him as the leader Teach her how to hold her pretty hand up to the sky Hello? And wait up on the giver Hello, what's up, Um, hey, it's a minute, I'm still outside his school Oh, how are, how are, how are, how are, how are, because no, because it's just an hour um settlement that uh, day. Okay. Yeah. So the there is nude. Yeah, nude champagne. Instead of champagne. Yeah, because then I can be scared. How can I nude? It's better. Yeah, it's better. At least I'm really in one similar color scheme. I have to go, I have to go. It's half past ten. I have to go, darling. Okay. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye bye. Go open and shut what? Through the town. Swish, swish, swish. All through. What? Yes. Yeah, boy. What? I can't hear you at the back.
the charts. Yeah, I guess we already. I guess we can have this now. Yes, yeah. Okay. Hey, friends. So. I am done with my last class and I just want to make some lunch for myself and baby K. I've got some white meat from Nando's. Um, you know when you order full chicken, the last bits that are left there and they just stay in the fridge because nobody wants to eat that. So that's what I want to work with now. Um, and I want to make um, a sandwich. Ooh, can I vlog? And I want to make a sandwich, so that's what I'm going to do now. Quick sandwich, just going to put some mayo and shred the chicken on the bread. And that's about it, chicken and mayo. So let me get that done. You can hear in my background, my son is hungry, hungry. He just woke up and he wants food. He wants the food now. <laughs> so let me get it done. Yeah. I can't understand, you're a perfect man Got the whole world in your hands, but you're still reaching out for me Ooh, wow, why you love me too? I'm nothing like you Opposite of holiness was what I was, but I'm to you See my soul and could you see why? Hold my hand high, could you see I? This is for becoming Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up You're with the army Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten Lion's den, speaking with a higher pen Can't be touched by fire then Fast forward to the grown things now I'm working on them so I think now you guys have accepted that you are a bit of a What do you call it? You guys have turned into like my diary this platform um vlogging and everything since i'm showing so much of my life you know i end up opening up to um the people who watch my vlogs as well so i've got something weighing on me and this past week it's been a bit much Okay, it's been a bit much. Just hold on. And I'm doing this I'm doing this degree. I'm doing I'm doing this degree. I'm studying. And you know when I first 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 wanted to become a law student um i was quite passionate about it what happened sorry i was quite passionate about it and it it, it the passion was not the passion was misplaced um i don't think i wanted to become a lawyer for the right reasons um it had more to do with lawyers get money they get paid it had more to do with um my biological father is um an advocate so i had daddy issues i had crazy daddy issues and now as i'm healing I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how. Oh, oh, my son. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so as I'm healing these, um, please don't jump on the bed. 
as I'm healing these daddy issues, I'm I've lost, or let me say, I'm losing interest for the whole profession, and I'm realizing that, I hey, no jumping on the bed. What does that song? One little monkey jumping on the bed, or five, and then one fell off and bumped his head. And I'm not calling the doctor. That's where I'm at. And I'm so scared. And the only reason why I've, I keep going back is, number one, I want to prove a point to myself, especially. Please stop jumping on the bed. Look at the camera's looking shaky now. Um, <laughs> I might have to continue this conversation later if I if I'll feel like it. Please stop it. Mm. Um, I keep I keep going back to study law, um, specifically because I want to prove a point to myself i mean I, i've wasted not wasted but i've used up a lot of my years trying to do this law degree and so i want to prove to myself that you know i've actually done it it's just the piece of paper whatever but you know now studying in the uk again i had to start from scratch like i had to start from the beginning and this is coming from someone who's been to northwest university i did a couple of like two is it two and a half no, i did two years there um still law unisa i was on my third year there and unisa again i had to start over from scratch because i didn't pay my fees for northwest university so when i went to unisa they were like no because you don't have your previous transcript you have to start over so i started over again at unisa i didn't mind you know i still had that passion i didn't mind and now glasgow university i'm starting over again i don't know guys it's it's hard like it's it's hard it's hard to study it's hard to be part of the classes okay i know it's also hard because you know i'm a full-time mom and like the mothering thing is taking a lot of my time and energy like even after he has slept and the house is quiet when i try and open a book and study it's like oh my word i'm exhausted i just don't have a coffee i want to get in bed i'm i'm tired my brain can't like i just do you know what i mean so and then there's a thing in it Can you please pause it? He just played the prayers I was listening to. Hold on. Okay, where were we? So yes. I I have a fear of disappointing my family. A fear of disappointing my friends, the people who believe in me. Um and there's also those people who like do not want to see me win in that aspect and you know the the vain me i mean i'm not perfect so i've also got that thing of i want to do it <sighs> and i want to finish it and obviously if i finish it it's a matter of i'm going to be you know quite successful um the finances are good job wise you i don't think people really struggle um in the uk with jobs in the in the legal field not as much as the struggle is in in south africa um and i've already been promised like a couple of jobs so job wise if i go that route i'm good <sighs> but this is a job i'm gonna have to do for the rest of my life
and I don't know if this is something I want to do for the rest of my life anymore. And I'm talking here on this vlog because I've mentioned it here and there to a few people in my life and I've heard a number of things. You know, mentioning it to different people. One can be from church, one can be from home. Like, just different people. And I've heard different... Um, I've heard different responses to all of this. So, speaking to you guys on the vlog it makes me feel like i'm <laughs> what is it i don't know it just feels like a diary session it never feels like anybody's gonna watch these things until people do actually watch these things and it's like <gasps> oh my word but this is where i'm at mentally and um i'm struggling with this decision and I know what I want to do. Um, I know what I absolutely love doing. I know that. But I'm really struggling to come to terms with. Like also I've got this thing of what if I'm disappointing God? Like what if that career is what God had envisioned for me? What if that's part of my purpose? And but if by dropping that, I'm like dropping my whole purpose in life. Like, what if that's why I keep going back? Because it's somehow tied to my, like, <sighs> child. I've got so many things running through my mind right now for a Tuesday evening when I'm supposed to be completing my assignment and submitting it. An assignment I haven't even started with, to be honest. I don't know if I'm going to start because I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I just got back um, one of my assignments. They just returned them back with the feedback. And I got a grade C3. I'm not too familiar with these UK grades, but I think a C3 is not good. Like, it's very average. So, meaning I'm not even putting effort. I am putting effort. I don't know. The effort is just not... Child. Anyway, I think I've said enough. I've said a lot. I just need to focus on wrapping my mind around this decision and actually deciding what I want to do, you know. And if I'm going to actually just stick to this thing that's on my mind that I'm actually really passionate about, you know, but passion passion doesn't mean that's what you're called to do everybody has passions and not all our passions is what we're called to do i think we're doing something about <laughs> don't touch that we were talking about that at bible study to say that you can be passionate about something but it doesn't mean you're called to do it so so then there's that that confused me even more like you know, because obviously I'd like to think I can just rely on the passion. So I think I'll just have to pray about it. <sighs> I'll just have to pray about it and pray that God hears me and gives me somewhat of a clear answer as to which direction I should take. Yeah. I think that's it. All right. Um, it's around almost 7 p.m. So I'm going to serve dinner. We've still got leftovers from last night for dinner. But I've also got those m and ready-made meals. So um, depending on what he feels like having. Sometimes he doesn't really like leftovers. So I might just give him the ready-made um, pasta. And he can have that. 
I'll have the leftovers so I don't mind really I eat anything so because I'm not one thing I'm not doing is cooking that's one thing I am not doing is cooking <laughs> 